Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God, and today is February 8th, 2024. The Lord gave me a message through His Holy Word, and I want to bring it forth unto you all to understand that this is happening right now as I am speaking to you. He said, to read this unto you all. Perdition of apostasy found in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. O Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, precious God, I ask in your holy name that you speak through me, Father, that your words be clearly received by your children. Father, for we see these things as you have spoken unto me, that we may pray for those who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive, and not be deceived but rebuke and cast away all lies and deception that surrounds them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let me read it again. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron, forbidding to marry and to, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving and prayer. For it is sanctified by the word of God and through prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, this is what we are to be doing. For we know that many, 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 many uncountable many are being deceived right now in their churches. For the Lord has spoken to his Holy Spirit for those who have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive, shall obtain mercy from him. We shall have obtained mercy from him through the Holy Spirit if we receive this message with all our heart, soul, mind, and spirit. These are the days, brethren, these are the days in which Jesus spoke about in his word. That in the last days, many shall be deceived. If we don't know the truth. And also the Lord says in his word, that even his elect that do not study his word shall be deceived. Brethren, study his word. Study his word. Study his word. To show yourself approved as a workman in his hand. Brethren, these are the days 
that many are being deceived. Please understand this. Many are being deceived. But refuse profane and old wives, fables, and ex exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For body exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and that will come. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exception. Stay in sound doctrine. Live by faith and not by sight. Be who he has called you to be. Shalom, be blessed. And I'll see you in the air very, very quickly. Chapter 4 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach, that no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity, till I come. Give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Mediate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself, and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself, and them that hear thee. Again I say unto you, heed these words of warning. Be blessed.